Okay, now, now what we, this is the basic color control one, yes? yes. Basic yes. quality control package yes. using a color emitter, okay. Okay. So now, for example, uh, we measure by standard. Okay. Green. No problem. Ah, put your name, green. Okay. So we get the color. I will move. I will measure now as a sample the green a little bit more. Something which you have produced. Yes, more okay. stronger. More stronger, okay. We are just taking a pen tone shade cut to do it. You can see here. Okay, straight away. And it gives you here the difference, 14 units. Delta E. Delta E. So here it gives you, it pass or fail, yeah, for sure it fail. Okay, Because yes. it's out of the tolerances we have fixed. You can see here that you can get a measurement from keyboards. You can also have a measurement from keyboards. Yeah. So suppose we can have... I will put an end green. XX, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I will enter values. Out. Oh. Okay. 80. Yeah. LAB. You can have also. I have to enter LAB value. 80. Mm. For L, C, let's say I will put 30. And H, 180. LCH. <coughs> <coughs> not LAB. You can change, I will show you. So okay. now, <coughs> it's the measurement I did, we change the value. Okay. So, yes, I will show you toolbox. You can change the configuration of the system. Okay. You can decide that you work with LCH, LAB, LAB. LAB, okay. Which one is more popular? Uh, more and more CMC with LCH. LCH. Yeah, and CMC. <coughs> yeah, tolerances are a little bit crazy for past five, but okay, you can put whatever you want to as tolerances. Okay. So now. What is N and P? Yeah. Intolerance. And um, negative, positive. negative and positive. Oh, yes. How much are the positive and negative? Yeah. Yes. Because you can accept here uh, not the symmetrical tolerance. You can accept whatever you want. So now there is another function here, which is search the closest. So I can select here in which file I want to select the closest column. And the database see. file, yes? Yes. So now let me measure again this green. Mm -hmm. Measure it. Automatically it will check in the library which is the closest column. Okay. Give you the name with the LAB value and with the so data. Now, now we are having this as in comparison to Pantone. Yeah. <coughs> exactly. It's a pattern. You can measure a pantone, save it and check it. Okay. So now, this software can also give you another function which is whiteness. For example, you want to test a paper, mm -hmm. you can measure <coughs> and, it, and it gives you the whiteness regarding okay. the different uh, formula which is different method, yes. existing. You have also the possibility to control. Let me measure yellow. Yellowish. Uh, yellowish and there. In fact, it's the same. You measure paper to see if it's old or whatever, it's to measure. This is some indexes which are... Yellow indexes, yeah. yes. And now opacity. Okay. That means, opacity, that means you need to measure color over white. Ah, white, yeah. you have to measure the color on white background white and black background. background and yes. then I will measure the color on black background. Okay. And now you can see the opacity. <coughs> okay. Okay? So that's it. This is a basic function we can find in this software which comes with a correlator. You can use a basic color emitter. The only yeah. thing required is the database from... No, <coughs> no, nothing. Only quality control. It's yeah. a basic quality control. It's a basic quality control. Yes. For sure, if you want to search closest color, you need to have saved the uh, colors. I can show you here when you... So closest uh, color can be made with the database from exactly the color yeah, itself? You. From the color emitter, I can enter a color here. I select in which file. Colors, okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, green. And let me measure the green. Measure it. Okay. And save it. So you can save the color from the name, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So you can even have the full Pantone shade card. Exactly. I am measuring a single Pantone <coughs> color here. Mm -hmm. Measure. Okay. 
and save. save. Now let me go back to the process color here. I will say I want to ch search. <coughs> And so far as here, okay, so I measure the color I want to search, okay, and now in Safara's file you say, okay, this color is this one. Okay. So, so that you means can you can measure. So you can measure. Reuse of the color. Yeah. You can measure any. Ah, so if, if, if you have a balanced color left out. Yeah, if you have a balance with a different uh, formula. You can get the formula of the color you check. Yes. <clears throat> but it's not here. Here you don't manage formula. So okay. the same you can put uh, your... What is the report you will get on this? You have shown a printer over here. Yeah, but I don't know what I can print here. Okay, what is the test report? It, it, it oh, report. It, what you see on the screen is on the paper. Yeah. The, if you print it, you will print which is the closest color. Closest color, okay. Which is the data. Okay. That's it. Okay. Yeah, this is very, very, very basic. It's a basic quality control package. Control, yes, but it's a lot to check color, color difference. So now we say goodbye to this software. Move yeah. to next one.